Oh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to my kitchen this morning. I'm getting ready to make breakfast. Oh, so on the menu this morning, I have bakery bread. It has no sugar added, but it's whole wheat bread from the bakery. I'm going to do French toast, and then I have all my veggies already pre-cut. There's tomato, red and green pepper, and red onion. I'm going to do an omelet and then turkey bacon, and Ellie um, worked last night, and she's going to be joining us today, this morning. So she's coming over. I told her I'll make her breakfast. So uh, let me just set you up here so that you can kind of see what's happening. All right. Um, what do I want to do? Let's heat up the pan and we'll get the bacon cooked first. So this is just the turkey bacon. And what I do is when it's on sale, I buy it and I freeze it. So I don't know how much I'm going to cook. I know my husband can eat probably two or three and Ellie probably the same. Oh, I was just watching Linda's video and Cooper had another seizure last night. And anybody who doesn't know Linda, her channel is called Create with Linda. And she is a 50. Um, I had mentioned her channel so many times on mine, but I also have a lot of new viewers, which thank you everybody for who's here supporting me and enjoying my vlog. Sorry, I'm trying to wash my hands and I am ow, the water was way too hot. Ah. Trying to wash my hands, not, not burn my hands. Okay, let me, oh. you guys have like the worst view. All right, let me try to set you up better. There. Can you see there's the bacon over there? Anyway, I'm going to get ready to get the eggs um, scrambled so hopefully you guys can see. Okay, i got to put the turkey bacon in a plastic bag first. Anyway, Linda's dog, Cooper, he's part pit bull and part something else. He's a massive dog and he is their baby. They love their animals just the way that we love our cupcake and cocoa, our, our babies. We don't have children. Anyway, poor Cooper. Pipples are a breed of dog that's known to have seizures and he has seizures and he's been struggling. So, um, they have him on medication. So she's doing everything that she's possibly able to do for, for their dog. Okay. And it's just part of life sometimes to, you know, it, like I said, it's, it's a pit bull. Um, it's in their blood passed down. Anyway, the thing is he had a seizure and this time when he did, she said when he comes out of the seizure, he's always like disoriented, but he was trying to nibble at her. He did not hurt her, but she was scared and thank goodness she was chatting like with her friend jerry ellen and jerry ellen told her like linda leave like separate yourself from cooper right now because it is true i have seen it i'm sure everybody heard it on the news before just knowing that you know coming out of a seizures it's not that the pit bulls doing it intentionally at all because they're not but they can attack and their attacks can be severe. They're a big dog and their bite, it's not like a little puny dog bite. It, it ain't going to be playful. It can cause damage or death. And anyway, her friend Jerry Ellen said, like, separate yourself from Cooper. And she did. And um, to me, that's traumatic when you're seeing a person or a pet going through medical situations like that it's terrifying you don't know you don't want to lose them you love them and it's scary whatever way you look at it oops i hope i didn't put too much i might have to add one more egg to balance out the cinnamon i'm just doing it's going to be a healthy breakfast but a very savory breakfast as well you know vanilla cinnamon homemade bread <laughs> 
Um, a lot of my friends here on YouTube cook their own bread. You guys see Jacqueline all the time. She's making her sourdough and homemade rolls. And Linda has made homemade rolls on her channel. Just such a beautiful blessing. Now, I myself started with the sourdough, I don't know, last fall. And I I make sourdough here. I don't, I don't know. Did I? Yeah, I did record it once or twice. But... It's not something I make often, but when I do, it's amazing. But I definitely don't make it like Jacqueline. Like, I do not make it on a regular basis. But, you guys, look. I got the turkey bacon cooking. And everything's going to be all, all good this morning. So, let me know in the comments what is on your breakfast menu this morning. I would love to know, guys. Well, oh my goodness, guys, it's down pouring outside. I had no idea it was raining. I just brought the recycle bag out. And it's down pouring. I have uh, cocoa harness on because, see, when the girls get to go in the backyard, it's fine. It's all gated in, it's protected. But in the front yard, it's not. And I, I, it's sad that I can't trust Coco. But I can't. She's gone to the road before. And look at, I could not handle if something happened to her, our baby. So she has to wear a harness and be on a, you know, those long extended leashes you can buy at the dollar store. Well, we let her have that leash so that she can, um, you know, take her walk around and have like, now my husband's more patient with her. He's the best when it's bathroom time because he has patience of a saint and mama doesn't. I think you guys probably know, like, especially when you have anxiety and PTSD, like a lot of fear and stuff comes out. Ow. Anyway, one day I almost, oh, Coco, she went to the road and there was a vehicle coming and I, I couldn't handle it. Like I was crying and screaming. I couldn't breathe and. Oh, anyway, you know how it is. They're your children, and so she doesn't get to go. Oh, I gotta put this stuff away before Ellie comes because some of this is Christmas gifts. So let me get it off the table. You know, when you get a, a Timu haul and you just things are on the table, well, that's, that's where everything is right at the moment. But I gotta move it because. Ellie's coming for breakfast, and she will, she's a noticer. She will look at the stuff and be like, oh my goodness, it's not mine either. She'll notice it, and I don't want her to see it because it's a, it's a gift. I shop early for everybody. I get their Christmas gift, their birthday gift, like, because I love shopping for sales, and I love finding, you guys, I call them scream items, if... If the item is like a 50,000 and they're gonna love it, to me, that's a scream. So I wanna light up this beautiful gingerbread house that's on our table. Hold on. Okay, it takes, that bacon gotta cook. You know I already cook the, the meat super well done. So I've been keeping a, a book of my husband's sugars and every meal we take a sugar in the morning before breakfast and at night before supper and um okay now i have a bag wait is there a little i have a baggie with used batteries these are the batteries that you know we have in the converter or the people call it remote control for the tv and then uh they run out so I save them because they work they're not garbage the batteries still got juice in them but what happens is not enough for the converter so they work perfectly in gingerbread houses now let's just see does this light up come on yay you guys look there there we go I got it lit up isn't that adorable look at that that is so stinking cute. Why not have it on, right guys? So yeah, this is what I do. That way I don't waste the battery. And uh, it seems like we go through a lot of batteries with the converter, I don't know why. You wouldn't think it would take a lot of energy, 
But anyway, it goes through them left and right. Okay, that bacon is definitely cooked. Oh, I don't want it to burn. See me? I prefer my bacon nice and, ooh, nice and crispy. But Ellie and my husband, they like it. I just got to turn the pan down. Let's let the pan have a breather. Okay, what do I got to do now? Let's get the French toast cooking. The pan just needs a break, guys, because it was pretty hot with the bacon on it. Put my good oil. We don't use canola oil or any of the bad oil here. I spend the money to get the good stuff because health reasons, right? Okay, so apparently I'll be using up all this bread today. So for the French toast. Now you see how there's still some uh, cinnamon dust on top? That's exactly what you want because you want a little bit of extra cinnamon in places. So just dip a dip a rooney. It's gonna be a yummy, a savory breakfast this morning is what it is. Beautiful, savory breakfast. All right, yeah, so it's downpouring outside right now, which is gonna melt that snow. So that's a very good thing. My husband loved his supper last night, by the way, guys. He's so happy. He he loves meals. And anyway, he just loved the steak. He loved it. So let's use my... <laughs> well, I don't feel like using my pink spatula. This is my go-to spatula. It's ugly, but I don't care. It's my go-to spatula. It's my favorite spatula. Do you guys have a favorite? Because that's my... It literally is my favorite, so I'm, I'm going to be using this one this morning. By the way, I bought this. It came with a set of two, so one of them is for my parents, but it's a glove that when you're chopping things, it's steel. It's a steel glove so that you can't, your knife won't cut through and hurt your hand. Because when I cut squash, guys, oh my gosh. You know how delicious squash is, but getting to it is like digging for gold. And, and the squash is so hard. Anybody who cuts squash, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I bought that glove. I bought, ooh, I bought one for me and my husband and one for my parents for Christmas because my dad gardens and he grows squash as well. And you know what? We don't need to cut our hands. You know, we need to cut the squash and not our hands. So that's, that's why I bought that glove. So I got one for us and one for my parents. And they will use it. I know my dad will use it when he cuts up the squash. Doesn't that look so good? And it smells even better. So it, it looks amazing. But it, the smell that it's giving off, it's vanilla and cinnamon in our home right now. It smells so yummy. So yummy, yummy. Ugh. Yeah, so just seeing Linda, you know, going through that seizure with Cooper last night, man, that's, and it was almost midnight. She was, she fell asleep on the couch taking a nap is what happened. And then she woke up to Cooper taking a seizure and Cooper's her baby. All right. Now let's write down, what did I make my hubby for breakfast? He's going to have three turkey bacon. He's going to have, so two whole wheat French toast with cinnamon, vanilla, turkey bacon, da da da, and then a one egg omelet with all the fresh veggies. So tomato, red and green pepper, onion. It's red onion, but who cares? Okay. So, and thank you for every single person out there who has been keeping me and my husband both in prayer. Um, it's very, 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 very appreciated it. And you know, I completely, I completely believe in the power of prayer. 
you know, yes, you got to go see the doctor. Yes, you got to be on medication to help and stuff like that. But I'm telling you, prayer works. And like you guys know, I believe in Jesus. And I'm telling you, when you go through things, you need all the prayer. You need all the support. You need all the love. Like my husband is such an amazing man. He is my world. He's, it's not just me. It's, it's my half, you know, like we are one We're, you know, they say when you get married two become one, well, that's how it is. And our, like, I couldn't be separated from him. Like he's my world. And, uh, I thank God every day for my husband. I do. Cause he's amazing. Okay. This set of French toast is done. And it looks divine. Ellie's going to poop her pants. <laughs> Not really. You never know. <laughs> you never know, but she's going to really, she worked a full overnight shift at the hospital. She's such a good worker, guys. If you need it care, I'm telling you, you'd be blessed to get her because she does have patience. She does. And um, I see that even in mine and her relationship. Like she has patience with me and she has such a beautiful understanding because she's experienced a lot of the same things. Not everything, but a lot of the same things. So she has that extra patience, the extra understanding, and a lot of love. And um, I'm so thankful. So thankful. Thank you, God. Okay, so I got one more French toast to make. I'm going to give her two French toasts and my hubby two French toasts. And I'm going to throw out these two. Instead of wasting it, I'm throwing these out for the birds. So, one second. Yeah, today's our garbage day, guys. Garbage day. They only collect. They only collect garbage here every two weeks. So you really don't want to miss it. Especially in the summer when there's a lot of heat outside, you don't want to miss your garbage day. Just a couple of years ago, garbage day was once a week every week now they rotate it between garbage day and recycle day is what they do oh, hold on guys all right guys my hubby's taking the baby out to the bathroom so she can go do her business it smells so good you, you walk outside for a second, then you walk in here, and it smells so savory. You can really smell the vanilla and the cinnamon. Oh, it smells delicious. So it's like a little bakery in here. I'm not sure if Ellie's going to want syrup on her French toast or eat it plain, but I'm putting the syrup on the table in case a lot of people like the syrup on their things. But um, me and my husband, we don't, I don't make French toast often now. I've been really sticking to like boiled eggs, um, you know, like a slice of turkey or slice of ham and an omelet with stuffed with vegetables, like as much natural as I can. Like this bread, I pay more for it, guys. It's from the bakery, but it's made from scratch. There's no preservatives. There ain't no sugar in it. So yes, I'm paying more, but I know it has less chemicals for the body to process. And all those things, they add up because just think, just think how much bread you eat. Like, you know, like for, for the lunch can, my husband has a minimum one sandwich. So sometimes he has two. If it's been busy, he has two. But now what else I pack in his lunch can is a, a real apple. I pack Greek yogurt that is plain. 
and there's only very minimum sugar in it. But I put frozen blueberries in it. And now I put a little smidge of vanilla. And my husband mixes that because he really, he's not a fan of the Greek plain yogurt. He's not. But anyway, he eats it. And then I do a container of chopped up um, cucumber and I put pink salt on it. And then he has his sandwiches. And then he gets one crunchy. So he gets to choose. It's either veggie straws, it's either pretzels or nacho Doritos, like a baked chip. So, but he gets to pick whatever mood he's in, which he's going to have for that day, you know. All right, let's get this last French toast cooked. And then I will make the, um, you know, omelet. <laughs> then I'll make an omelet. All right, I'm just going to use this container to mix the omelet. I just want to rinse out that cinnamon. Come on, cinnamon, get out of there. I'm going to need a new container. The cinnamon is kind of like waterproof and it just wants to stay. So let's, you know. All right, well, let's just say you guys. Up. Hopefully, hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing here. But tomato, peppers. You guys, did you know that red pepper has more vitamin C than an orange contains? Like, it's awesome. So I'm taking out one of these yolks, guys, because you get the protein from the white, and I'm going to get rid of that yolk. Ah, I almost, I almost lost it. All right, let's just do one more. Sometimes I'll add my spices to the omelet, and then sometimes, you know what? It just, you want it simple, and you want to taste the beautiful veggies. So I think today is going to be one of those tasting the veggie days. So. All right. I know my husband's going to really enjoy this breakfast look at that isn't that nice i was watching a youtube channel and somebody was saying when you cook don't add your black pepper till the meal is cooked i forget why they said that i don't know what the reasoning was but anyway i don't know i'm gonna keep this here kind of under the light kind of keeps it warm Okay, so I gotta let that French toast cook nice and then I'll get to the scrap or to the egg omelet. All right. Another French toast done. Now it's time to get that omelet going. Okay, hold on, let me get Ellie's omelet to the side here so that it can cook too. I gotta crack her egg. And you know, after working a whole night, if you're tired and you're hungry, she'll stay for breakfast and then I'm gonna send her home because if she stays too long, she'll get too tired to drive home. She's not far from here, but still, I do not want anything to happen to her. She'll be sleeping all day too, so. I'm just cooking breakfast here in my robe. Coco, Coco, that's cupcakes food. Get the frig out of there. Coco. Here, Cody, eat your darn food. Oh my Lord, Coco ate all her own food. Then she was at cupcakes food eating it and growling cupcake for wanting her food. Oh, my goodness. They got their own personalities. Nobody can say dogs don't have personality. Every animal has their own personality. And I'm telling you, they really add to our lives. Do you want cheese on your egg omelet? You take your sugar, okay? Yes, that's first. Puppy, oh, I'm probably going to have to give Cupcake some more food because Coco, what are you doing, Coco?
No cup. No. I always make sure the egg is cooked fully, fully through because there's nothing worse than getting an undercooked egg. I'm not talking about the yolk, but when you do an omelet, you don't want none of that. Look at that white stuff. If that was on my plate, I would puke. Like, got to be cooked all the way. Not burnt either. Now, I got it on high. Like, I got it on low. Sorry, I got it on four. Because when I do a fried egg, it's high and quick. A scrambled egg or an omelet is low and slow. So, anyway. I feel, I feel hot with my robe on. I'm going to take it off. Is it hot in here or is it just me? It's warm. Oh, here's on it. Yes, I have, should I shut the heater off? Yeah. Should I shut it off? Not it's mild as heck out there. Yeah, what, no. what degree was it in the car? I never looked. Huh. It's probably plus two, plus three. Yes. At least two. It's nothing up there. Ooh. It is mild. Which I'm not complaining about. Cupcake! Cupcake, you give me a here, you're not allowed in there, dear. Did you say you want a cheese, boo? No, I'm good. No cheese. Alright. My hubby's gonna have a beautiful breakfast. See, two nice French toasts, there's three turkey bacon, and then we'll have his omelet right here. Then we'll take care of Ellie. She'll have a good breakfast. I think I'll flip one more time. It's just great anytime you can add in your fresh veggies like the peppers, the tomato, the red onion, you are getting nutrients, you know. A little bit of Swiss cheese on top would just top it off amazing. But my hubby doesn't feel like cheese this morning. Oh my gosh, so I'm here in my nightshirt, and guess what? That's what's staying on. When Ellie comes over, I'll be in my nightshirt because well a hand towel. Oh, uh, here. Here, Coco, let Daddy dry off. Here. There you go. Coco, come here, baby. Go see Daddy, Coco. Go see Daddy. Daddy got a treat for you. Hurry up. Come here. Go see Daddy. Go see. Never mind. Just leave her. Yeah. All right. Take your sugar, boo. Breakfast is ready. All right. Let's get Ellie's. Omelet. <sighs> when she cooks me breakfast at her home, it's a beautiful breakfast always as well. So we got her curtain. Her cat destroyed her set of beautiful um, lights, string lights in the living room. So she needed help to take down the other ones and then to put up the new ones. So that's all looked after. We did that. We did that yesterday. Or was it yesterday? No, the day before. Yeah, we did that the day before. What? Okay. Just let it. It'll come on its own. Just keep an eye on it. It takes like five seconds, ten seconds. Yeah, you don't have to. Yeah. I gotta write it down, guys. Hold on. You guys, look who just arrived. Auntie Ellie. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Yesterday she's calling me. And my face oh. is in the video. My face is in the video. And I was like, oh my gosh. So here I'm panicking. I go and watch it. It's okay, a what a bull face. crapper. You saw a part of her cheek, which, by the way, she put her face in. And what else did you see? Your chin. My for freaking goodness. So we got double chins. Here. Cheers. After our good night shift. Was it good? Did you have a good night? Yeah. Uh, that's I good. With a good. Hey, look. Look at our clear apple yes, juice. Yes, clear apple juice. I trust That was a nightmare on Elm house. Street. Okay, so look at what she uh, brought me. I don't even know why. It's Is it my birthday? No. What? Pray tell. Oh, I love it. You're my favorite. Oh, human I thought bean. you were going to call me coffee bean. It says human bean. I, ah! 
<gasps> what fell out? Oh, what's this? Did you really write this? Did you? I feel like Some she didn't. And other not. It says, hey, you, let me first begin by saying that's not you. You don't say, hey, you. That's not you. You don't call me, hey, you. Okay, let me first begin by saying that knowing you has been one of the greatest blessings oh, I could have ever hoped for. You came into my life in an incredibly unexpected way. I will never forget the first time we chatted, instantly connecting. I didn't know it then, but you would become one of the most uh, important people in my life. I'm so lucky that you did. Distance and time do not have the power to change the relationship we built. No, you better never move away from me. <laughs> no matter what you will face in your lifetime, you will always have a friend in me, my dear. Fall, nothing short of amazing. I can't imagine my life without you. I can't imagine what my life... This is like professional. What the frick? I can't imagine what my life would have become if I had never been privileged enough to meet you. You are one of the most favorite people of all time. God may have known that no, ma no mother, what? No mother. No mother could handle us as blood sisters, but understand how important you would be in my life. I love you eight days a week. <laughs> I am forever grateful for your presence in my life. Thank you for being the best on biological sister. Oh my gosh. I'm crying. I'm so upset. Oh, to my on biological sister. I hope you see in yourself what you are to me. I, a trusted friend, an amazing companion and someone who will be there. You made me all emotional this morning. <laughs> ah. That's okay. For oh, all the right reasons. This is so nice. And? I need a Kleenex. And guess what? What? You got the same one? No. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, yes, get that. Get that, please. Get, my nose is going to drip. Can you get that? Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is so sweet. Thank you. <clears throat> well, honestly, thank you. That's that is so special. <laughs> I love you. I feel the same. You and? know that. What? Oh, she's up. Uh, what a treat. <laughs> when she's at home sleeping, I'll be watching her upload. She's uploading a video, guys. Are you shocked at breakfast? I am. So, French toast on homemade bakery bread. Okay. Mm -hmm. Turkey bacon, egg yes. omelet, cooked low and slow, but all the way through. There ain't no yolk. I mean, there ain't no uncooked parts, and there ain't no eggshell. Just for you. <laughs> you don't like the uncooked parts either, though. What? No, exactly. Uncooked parts is just as I already explained to them how <laughs> disgusting that is. But, yeah, we when we went out for breakfast, oh, that was a nightmare. Never go to a place that when you feel in your head... Should we go? Mm -hmm. Go. Mm -hmm. Just say, I'm so sorry. I'm having a emergency. I got to go. It's a day. Yep. We already found our breakfast spot, though. Yeah, A&W. They mm -hmm. make it fresh, and you're getting real egg. None of that packaged liquid crap. Mm. 